today I'm going to show you how to take this and turn it into this, 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 and even this. So any beer can or pop can will work. They're all the same thickness and they'll all do the job. So the first thing you want to do is rinse out the can with hot water. Now we want to take it and cut the top and the bottom off of it with a sharp knife. So we're going to use a utility knife and we're going to put a fresh blade in it to start with so it's nice and sharp. Then we're going to cut the can about an eighth of an inch around from the curve, the bottom and at the top. So take your utility knife and to get it started in the can, just put it up against the can and rock it back and forth with a little bit of pressure on there. And after about six or seven times, you'll see it'll go right through. And then gently, just saw it back and forth. get near the end you'll find that this becomes very squishy so try to keep your hand around it and keep the shape and once it gets to there you can kind of bend it out and just use a pair of scissors to finish it off. And now take your scissors and cut the can open. And now to make it easier to work with so it's not coiling up on us like this all the time just take it and put it along the edge of the bench here and slide it across once. So at this point you have a choice. You can either use the switch plate that you just took off the wall or you can uh, go to the store and buy one of these and they're about a buck a piece. Or if you want to do a whole bunch of switch plates with beer cans or pop cans, these are $2.97 for 10 of these. So that's a really good deal. Now take your two pieces and lay them down on a scrap piece of paper. Now what I found to be the best for doing this is this Super 77 made by 3M. And if you want to get some of this, just look in the description below. So make sure when you use this that you're not using it over a good surface. I'm using it on my workbench. This stuff does have overspray and once it gets on stuff, it's really sticky. And here's a tip. If you do get some overspray and you want to get it off, just use a little bit of WD-40. So when we spray it, we want to make sure we get it along all the edges and the top and cover this whole thing. Now give that about three minutes to dry. Now take the switch plate and place it on top of the metal. And be careful, this is really sticky. Once you touch it down, you pretty well are committed. And just give it a press to make it stick. So now take your scissors and cut all the way around. And we want to leave about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of metal showing. Take your time because the scissors will stick to the adhesive a bit and you just have to move the scissors around a bit to get it off. So now we're going to take the scissors and cut all the corners off and we want to leave about an eighth of an inch right at the corners. Now put it back on the paper and spray the back of the plate. And wait another three minutes. So now you want to take this and you want to screw it down onto a work surface. So either use a scrap piece of wood or use a workbench like I'm going to do. Just make sure you don't over tighten these screws because it'll split the cover. Now find yourself a pen like this, one that has an end something like that shape on it, but pretty well any pen will do. Now start on one of the sides and just bend it up and run your finger underneath there to adhere it and then slowly bend it over. Once you get to that point, take the edge of the pen and run it along to get it to fold over. And now push it down and use the end of the pen right into the crevice there and fold it right down so it sticks. And go along and push in all the little bits of the metal into all the little nooks and crannies. And then just continue with all four sides. Just be careful with your fingers that you don't get them cut on any of the sharp edges. And you'll notice as you go along the side that there's a little pointy piece. We'll deal with that in a minute. And then just at the end go along there one more time to make sure all the edges are bent down. Now take your knife and go around and cut out the square in the center. It takes about 
three or four or five cuts in order to get through the metal. And once you get that piece out of there, you'll notice that the edge is kind of jagged and sharp. It's not really necessary to do anything with that, but I just take a screwdriver and just use the edge of it and go around and smooth it out. It, the metal is soft enough and it flattens it right out. And at this point, you don't really have to do much more with these holes because the screw already created a hole. But if you want, you can take your pointy tool like I have here and just put it in there and smooth them out a bit. Now the last thing we want to do is deal with the sharp little corners that are left over from folding the metal up. So make sure you do this on a work surface, not on a good surface, because it will leave marks. So just take the plate like this and rock it back and forth. And as you get to the corner, it'll slowly flatten out that metal. Well, there you go. That turned out pretty good. So if you have any sharp edges on any of the corners, just roll it on the table like I showed you, and that'll smooth them right out. And at your hardware store, you'll also find that they have these oversized switch plates too, which are kind of cool. They take up a little bit more of the metal, and they look kind of nice. And if you have one of those newer style switches in your house, it'll also work on that too. And if you're going to do a receptacle plate, you're going to have to use a couple of screws and some washers to get near the edge here, since there's only one mounting screw in the center on those. this video has helped. If it did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to leave a comment below and we'll see you next time.